exists. So the world of decentralized finance is exploding right now and we're seeing insane amount of APYs and APRs across various trading protocols. And you may be asking yourself, how do you actually become part of this insane amount of APYs and APRs? In this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know with regards to yield farming. If you recall, in our previous episode, we spoke about how to provide liquidity on a decentralized trading protocol such as Sunday Swap. In this video, we're going to dive into more details with regards to what is yield farming and most importantly, how can you make money with your LP tokens on a yield farming platform? Let's get right into the video. So in order for you to follow along, we need to recap on everything that we spoke about in our previous video. In our previous video, we spoke about how to provide liquidity on a liquidity pool and an interest on your investment. So we made a scenario of an investor that has a portfolio that's worth a thousand dollars and this investor actually provided liquidity on a liquidity pool by providing 250 ADA and a thousand of a Sunday swap. And we said this investor by providing liquidity becomes a, an LP token holder. So now on your wallet, you're holding something called LP tokens. Now LP tokens opens a new possibilities when it comes to actually making passive income with your investment. All LP token holders can take their tokens and provide something called liquidity farm. So you can take your tokens and stake them on a decentralized trading protocol as I'm gonna show you later in this video. But before we even go further, it's very important to understand that when you're providing liquidity on a liquidity pool, you can obviously suffer something called impermanent losses. Now impermanent losses is something that we're gonna cover on a fourth episode, I believe, in this DeFi video series. So don't worry about that. We're going to cover it on the next episode. So right now you're holding LP tokens on your wallet and you decided, you know what? Um, instead of just holding these LP tokens on my wallet, I'm actually going to go and farm and actually stake my LP tokens and, and passive income on my investment. So how do you actually do that? So before we dive into the screen, let's just recap on everything. An investor holds funds on their wallet. Instead of just holding these funds, this investor has decided, you know what? I'm gonna provide liquidity on a liquidity pool. As we mentioned, to provide liquidity, you need to give 50% of each currency so that everything balances out. So this investor put 250 ADA and a thousands of Sunday swap tokens. Obviously, locking that on a liquidity pool gives you something called LP tokens. And now that the investor is holding LP tokens in their wallets, they can take these LP tokens and provide something called yield farming. Let's dive into the screen and see how this works. Now, I would have loved to use Sunday Swap, but as of recording this video, the main net is not live yet. But as soon as it comes live, I'm gonna make a separate video. Obviously, that's gonna be around part five of this DeFi video series. On that video, we're gonna take real funds as I've been showing you on my previous examples and actually provide liquidity and take those LP tokens and do something called liquidity mining or yield farming. Now we do have a project that is similar to Sunday Swap. Obviously, that is in a different blockchain. But if we come to Pancake Swap here, we can actually go to farms. You can see it says here, stake your LP tokens to earn rewards. The very same LP tokens that we've been talking about. Now let's have a look at how this actually work in theory. I'm gonna come here and I'm actually having an APY calculator here, which I'm just gonna click on. Since starting this decentralized finance video series, I've always made an example of actually having a, a portfolio that's worth a thousand dollars. Now, if I put the very same thousand dollars here, we can actually now see if you're staking these LP tokens, how much money you'll be making per day. Obviously in seven days, you'll be making about $7 and in 30 days, you'll make about 31 us dollars in a year you'll make about 465 us dollars obviously this is just a thousand dollars most people can afford i'm assuming five thousand dollars let's see what happens when you actually put five thousand dollars in one year you make two thousand two hundred and thirty eight us dollars obviously this is not taking into account the funds that you obviously accumulating with your lp tokens uh, from providing the liquidity this is just yield farming and over here you can see it says APR. Now that is an annual percentage rate. There's also something called APY, which is annual percentage yield. We're gonna dive into more details as we progress throughout this series to have a look at those um, terminologies with regards to what do they mean exactly. And this video just wanted to make you aware that taking your LP tokens from the liquidity pool 
as we mentioned in a previous video and actually taking them to actually something called liquidity mining or yield farming because it's the same thing you can actually make additional passive income and obviously like i mentioned earlier in this video by providing liquidity on a liquidity pool there are so much risk associated with that and we're going to dive into that in a moment but the number one risk is obviously in permanent loss that's going to be a separate video on its own probably on a fourth episode on this decentralized finance uh, video series but what i want to talk about here is when you have your funds here you remove your funds from your wallet and you have your funds sitting on a smart contract now in most cases these smart contracts are written by a very small team now maybe you may find that the code is actually not audited so when the code is not audited you can find bugs within the code which means that when there are bugs on the code you know hackers can exploit the code and actually take funds from the smart contract and you lose all your money so that's one thing to take into consideration that you have to obviously do your research with regards to the team that is obviously developing that protocol or that project another risk that you should know about is something called a rug pool a rug pool is when someone develops a project and actually maybe issue a smart contract or something like that and immediately just take the funds and run away with the funds and you actually left holding those tokens that are worth nothing i've made a video on i think squid games and that was a perfect example of a rug pool if you haven't checked that video out you can find it in the description of this video or it's going to be popping somewhere here another risk is actually using platform that are using collateralized uh, lp tokens which means you can sort of like take these lp tokens and actually invest with them on leverage as we know if you're trading or investing in on leverage you can get liquidated when you get liquidated you lose all your money but you don't have to worry about that because these platforms that i'm showing you here don't have that options to actually take your lp tokens and actually provide yield farming on leverage now what's the safest way for you to provide liquidity and obviously not incur permanent losses or not lose money at all it's very rare that you can find a hundred percent safe system however if you take pools that have stable coins because stable coins don't fluctuate you will less likely experience volatility on your investment which means that you won't be exposed to a lot of risk when it comes to um, permanent losses and obviously volatility and, and stuff but also remember that when you're investing in stable coins you know you're not going to make as much but we're going to cover that in more details as we go further in this subject i hope that you did enjoy this video where i showed you how you can actually take your funds from your wallet provide liquidity on a liquidity pool and move from that and actually do something called yield farming obviously we'll have a practical example with real funds uh, coming up in future episodes and i'm obviously going to make follow-up videos with regards to everything that i mentioned in this video and speaking of follow-up videos check the video popping up on the screen right now because on that video we go in depth with regards to what are impermanent laws and how can you avoid them so go ahead and click on that i'll see you there goodbye for now peace